What is Auto GPT? Is it the next level AI tool surpassing ChatGPT? I'm Bernard Ma, and I help companies understand current and future trends in business and technology so they can turn them into improved performance and profitability. For more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and my podcast, check out the articles on my website and have a look at my latest books, Tech Trends in Practice, Business Trends in Practice and Future Skills. So the world of artificial intelligence has been abuzz with capabilities of generative AI models like ChatGPT, raising concerns about potential dangers and prompting some countries to reconsider policies or even ban them. Now an even more advanced AI tool, AutoGPT, has emerged, offering a first glimpse at where development um, might go in the future. AutoGPT uh, was released on March 30th, 2023 and has quickly gained widespread attention due to its promising autonomous abilities. So what is AutoGPT? It basically is an experimental open source Python application that uses GPT-4 to operate autonomously, requiring minimal human intervention and self-prompting. So users can simply provide a desired end goal and AutoGPT will generate the necessary prompts to complete the task. So it was developed by Significant Gravitas and is powered by OpenAI's GPT-4. So AutoGPT boasts internet access memory management, text generation, file storage, and summarization capabilities. So what can AutoGPT do? It can perform all tasks that ChatGPT can, such as debugging code and writing emails, but it can also tackle more advanced tasks with fewer prompts. Demo examples on GitHub include increasing net worth, growing a Twitter account and developing and managing multiple businesses. And while GitHub's limitations indicate that AutoGPT may not excel in complex real-world business scenarios, users have been sharing impressive results on Twitter using AutoGPT to create apps, generate startups, explore complex topics like healthcare and medicine, and even self-stalk on the internet. So so how can you access AutoGPT? So unlike ChatGPT, which is accessible through a browser, AutoGPT requires specific software and Python knowledge. Users need Python 3.8, an OpenAI API key, a Pinecone API key, and an Evenlabs key for the speech capabilities before then following detailed installation instructions. So this is not for everyone, but it is a sign of where things might be going. And people talking about auto, uh, auto uh, GPT also feel that it could be a step towards more general uh, artificial intelligence rather than just focused AI. I will be watching this space very closely and share any updates. So make sure you follow me on YouTube on social media and my podcast.